Team spirit management is what separates great managers from the rest. And before each season, I try to think how could I use this to my advantage. And now, let me tell you everything you need to know about team spirit management. Hey guys, it's Papa Mish. And I actually made this video over 16 months ago, but I never got to publish it. And I'm glad to do it right now. And in the fourth season passed since I made it, my team Black Sabbath was able to promote from the third division to win the Premiership title last season and my third team, Sneaky Cat, was able to win the cup two times. And although it's not the only important thing, team spirit management played a big role. Why is it so important? So team spirit has a direct influence on our midfield rating and as we all know, midfield is king. You'll get more chances and you'll have more opportunities to score and win the match. Let's see how our team spirit works, what could influence it, what could increase or decrease it, and I'll give you some tools how to manage it properly. Every off-season, the team spirit for each team in Hattrick will be reset and set on composed at a level of four and a half. Then the team spirit could change from Paradise on Earth being the highest at level 10 and like a Cold War being the lowest at level zero. Our team spirit will always move towards the balance point four and a half. If our team spirit is higher, it will go down. And if our spirit is low, it will go up. So the things that could influence our team spirit are the leadership of our coach, our match attitude during competitive games, transfers, sports psychologists, and changing our training intensity. Team attitude is the basis of team spirit management. And also, it's the most overlooked thing by low-level managers. It will influence your midfield during the game and your team spirit after the match. If you'll play normal, nothing will happen. If you'll play a pick, it will decrease your midfield ratings during the game but increase your team spirit after the match by 33%. On the other side, if you'll mods a game, it will increase your midfield ratings during the match but will drop your team spirit by 50%. And a lot of unexperienced managers will just play mods without a real reason and then will drop their team spirit so low and they won't realize why their midfield is very low in the next matches. In this table by LA Alpha, we have the full benefits of good team spirit management and how team attitude will influence our midfield ratings. So if we're starting from our base level of team spirit being composed and we are playing a normal as a team attitude, we'll get 100% of our midfield ratings. If we'll mod a match, we'll get more out of our midfield rating. We'll get 113%, but it will drop our team spirit. On the other side, if we'll play pick a few times and we'll increase our team spirit and it will be at a level of 8 or even 9 and even though we'll pick a match, we'll get 110% or 116% of our midfield ratings. So on the long run, it's better to play picks and then you'll get higher midfield ratings than just playing normals or sometimes even mozzing and dropping our team spirit. And that's amazing because when you sometimes need to mods a match, you want to do it on a high team spirit. And then you could have up to 150% more of your midfield than you're just not managing your team spirit at all. Next important thing for team spirit management is coach leadership. And although it won't directly increase your team spirit, it will maintain higher team spirit levels for longer periods of time, which will result with higher midfield ratings. And the higher the leadership of your coach, the slower the drop rate of the team spirit during time. The drop rate happens during the daily updates. We have seven of those during each week. And in this table, we have a comparison between coaches with different leadership levels. Let's say we played a few pick matches and we got our team spirit to the max level of 10. After, for comparison, seven daily updates, the team spirit will drop. If your coach leadership is very high, passable or solid, after seven daily updates, the team spirit will be 8.2. But if your leadership is weak, after seven daily updates, it will be 
7.4 and that's almost a whole level of team spirit and as we saw in this table the difference between uh, level 7 and level 8 is 6% midfield if you are picking a match or 7% midfield if you are playing normal so you are getting free midfield ratings sports psychologist has a different influence on our team spirit it will increase the base value of the balance point for example a level 5 sports psychologist will increase our base team spirit level from four and a half to five this will result with high team spirit being dropped slower towards the balance point of five and our overall midfield being generally higher and that's why every competitive team needs a sports psychologist some transfers could result in team spirit drop and it depends on the player's character when you're buying players who are popular or sympathetic you are good but when you're buying players who are pleasant controversial or nasty each one of them has a certain percent of chance for the team spirit to drop also for selling players popular sympathetic or pleasant players could result in team spirit drop while controversial or nasty player will not when a team spirit will drop from a transfer it will always be by a third of a level so make sure not to do problematic transfers just before important matches when you're battling for midfield playing with your training intensity will immediately increase your team spirit levels and i made a whole video about this that you could check it on my channel but it is a very dangerous action as you'll put your intensity back it will crash your team spirit and also could severely damage the form of your players although in some rare cases this could be very helpful 16 months ago we had a great calculator that could help us manage the team spirit during the season and you could see it over here unfortunately the site is no longer available but we could still do everything with our mind what it did it allowed us to input the level of leadership of our coach and then plan in which games we want to pick or mods. It could calculate the team spirit drop rate uh, from our coach's leadership and then it would give us our expected team spirit levels during the season. Again, we could do everything because we already have this table. We know what the coach leadership that we have and we could know that playing a pick will increase our team spirit by 33%. So for instance, if we are starting with a team spirit of four and a half and we're gonna pick the first cup match, it will increase our team spirit to six. Then it will drop a little bit uh, because of the daily updates and if we could allow ourselves to pick the first league match, it will increase again from about six to about eight. And this way we are able to calculate our expected team spirit for the future. As a rule of thumb, after we are kicking our team spirit to the highest level, which takes about three consecutive uh, pick matches from a base level of four and a half five team spirit we could just maintain high team spirit how you do it well just pick every second or third match and you'll be okay let's conclude everything we need to know about team spirit management we have three main influences the sports psychologist that will allow us to increase the base level of the balance point for our team spirit we have the team attitude that will allow us to increase the team spirit after competitive games and the coach leadership that will allow us to maintain high team spirit levels for longer periods of time two x factors the transfers buying or selling players with a certain character could uh, result in team spirit drop and training intensity that could increase the team spirit significantly in rare cases and now how to plan our season we have to think about a few things firstly we want to increase our team spirit and maintain it at high levels as fast as possible but we need to think about our matches what's our situation in the league or in the cup if we have a few easy cup matches obviously we're gonna pick those if we have a match in the league against a non-competitive team or a weaker opponent we could also pick this match 
after we are reaching high team spirit levels, it's okay to play one normal match a week and one pick match. If you're maybe playing in a lower division and you only have one strong opponent during the season, you could build up team spirit before this match and then against this particular opponent you are just motzing. And then if you have an other easy matches, you could pick and restore your team spirit. Sometimes you are facing such a strong opponent in the cup that you know you will not be able to win against him. So it's okay maybe to play a pick against him, a very defensive formation, and try to maintain your team spirit and midfield battles for more suitable opponents. On the basis of all this information, I give you two examples of team spirit management. In one, we are playing pick in all the cup matches and normal in the league, and in the other, we are just picking all the time. We could see here our match, the C is for cup, L is for league, we have the team attitude and we have the team spirit before and after the match. Take in mind that both examples are without a sports psychologist, so the team spirit throughout the season should be even a bit higher. So what we could conclude? We could conclude if we are only picking the cup matches, we'll reach the highest team spirit levels at about cup match number four, for eight matches into the season. And then we will maintain a team spirit of about eight to 8.6 throughout the season. The other example, when we are only picking, we'll reach the highest team spirit levels after about three matches, and then we will maintain a team spirit of eight high or nine low throughout all the season. You can maintain this strategy for the whole season, so it's better to combine them to see what fits you best, and diverse teams could definitely play for midfield and play counters when you know that you can't beat them and you want to preserve your team spirit with a pick. I'm sure some of you have noticed that at some of the examples we are reaching above the max level of 10 team spirit to about 11 or 12 team spirit. Still, after the first daily update, the team spirit will drop below 10. But this could allow us to sell or buy players with a character that could result in a team spirit drop. And even if we'll drop team spirit due to this sell, the team spirit will still remain above 10 before the daily update and then it will drop. So that's one cool strategy to sell players with a problematic character. Now it's your turn. Please tell me, what's your favorite strategy to manage your team spirit throughout the season? Have you learned something new? Or maybe you already know everything that I told you here. Either way, let me just wish you a great upcoming season and don't forget to play a pick in your first cup match this week. Thank you so much for watching, because Hattrick, it's more than a game, it's a community. And let me invite you to my first ever stream about cycle training. It will be this week on my Twitch channel at 8 HT time. We'll be discussing different strategy about cycle training and how to build a long-term plan for your team. Hope to see you there.